Dear students, welcome to Arjukati Basar. I am happy to introduce myself as Krishnam Raju Varikopala, faculty in physics. I have been working here since inception of the university. You know, uh, here the intermate is equivalent to PUC course, which is of two years. We follow Telugu Academy books here. You know, in physics, in Telugu Academy book, we have 14 chapters. Out of 14 chapters, we will be discussing uh, 7 chapters in semester 1 and uh, other 7 chapters in semester 2. That is uh, right from the chapters that we are going to discuss in first semester are Physical World, Units and Measurements, Motion in a Straight Line, Motion in a Plane, Loss of Motion, work energy power and system of particles and rotational motion. Dear students, in first chapter consists of what is the definition of physics, in which fields we are going to use the physics and etc. So instead of starting chapter number 1 here, I am going to start chapter number 2 that is units and measurements. Later, in due course, we will study about the chapter number 1. In units and measurements, that is the chapter that we are going to discuss here is units and measurements. Units and measurements. So before going to discuss about units and measurement, we should know what are what are physical quantities? The physical quantities are nothing but there are many physical quantities that exist in world that are mass, length, time, amount of substance, velocity, acceleration, work done, force, power, etc. are physical quantities. If you want to measure any physical quantity using any equipment, that measured quantity must be expressed as a number and associated standard. That associated standard, certain basic standard that is internationally accepted by everyone is called as the unit. Suppose, for example, if you want to measure the length of a pencil, we use a scale, ordinary scale. By using the ordinary scale, we can measure the length of the pencil. And if you measure it as 15, 15 does not mean anything. That is 15, it is a measurement of length, so it should be expressed as 15 centimeters. Right? So here 15 is the number and centimeters is the unit. That unit is a basic arbitrary quantity, that standard, that is internationally accepted by everyone. Okay? There are a uh, large number of physical quantities that exist in the world, uh, but uh, we cannot express, we cannot have units for all individual physical quantities. It is very difficult to express all individual physical quantities with a different system of units. So, that's why we categorize the physical quantities into two types. Physical quantities are two types. They are base physical quantities, base quantities or we also call them as fundamental quantities. Base quantities are fundamental quantities and another physical quantities are derived quantities. That means we are going to derive the units for such fundament, for such physical quantities by using units of base quantities. The, here the base quantities are mass, length, time, amount of substance, luminous intensity, luminous intensity, electric current 
and temperature temperature the units of these base quantities or fundamental quantities are called as fundamental units the fundamental unit for mass is kilograms and the fundamental unit for length is meters and for time is seconds and for amount of substance moles for luminous intensity candela electric current amperes and for temperature kelvin these are the seven fundamental physical quantities and their units here we are going to discuss about derived physical quantities we call the physical quantities as derived one because we can derive these physical quantities using base quantities for example if we take a velocity velocity is a derived quantity its definition is displacement divided by time taken so here displacement is nothing but measurement of length divided by time taken length is a basic physical quantities and time is also base physical quantity so the velocity is derived from two base physical quantities so that this velocity is called as derived quantity next another example is acceleration acceleration is also derived from acceleration definition is velocity divided by time it is also derived from base quantities so this is also called as derived quantity and another one force force f equal to mass times acceleration again derived quantity and work done work done equal to force into displacement this is another derived quantity another derived quantity see here besides these seven fundamental physical quantities we will be having two more physical quantities one is plane angle another one is solid angle solid angle the units of plane angle are radians and for solid angle is steradian solid angle units are steradian this plane angle and solid angle are solid angle are dimensionless quantities why these two are dimensionless quantities we will discuss in the topic of dimensions later they are dimensionless quantities because they can be expressed as ratio of two same physical quantities we know arc length s equal to arc length s equal to r theta here theta is equal to s by r s is arc length r is radius arc length is the measurement of length your radius is also the measurement of length so theta is a dimensionless quantity because it is the ratio of same two physical quantities length by length students just now we discussed about physical quantities that are very basic base physical quantities so here i have written them again clearly in order to note down base quantities are mass length time electric current temperature amount of substance and luminosity luminous intensity and si units are kilograms and its symbol is kg and si unit for length is meter and its symbol is m si unit for time is seconds and its symbol is s s unit for electric current is ampere and its symbol is capital a for temperature kelvin its symbol is k the base units of amount of substance are mole 
its symbol is mol mole the base units for physical quantity luminous intensity is candela and its symbol is cd students just now we discussed about fundamental physical quantities and uh, derived physical quantities now a complete set of these quantities both the basic quantities and units of derived quantities are called as system of units there are different system of units that are being used by different uh, scientists of different countries those system of units are called as international system of units they are you already known uh, they are cgs system of units and another one is fps system of unit and third one is mk system of unit mk system of units the base units of length mass and time in this systems are c for centimeter centimeter g for grams s for seconds and for fps system fps system f stands for foot p stands for pound s stands for second and in mk system m stands for meters and k stands for kilograms and s stands for second these are all the measurement of lengths centimeters foot and meters these are all the different units of measurement of length similarly grams pound kilograms are measurement of mass and seconds are all are same those are measurements of time students in this session we are going to discuss some more concepts that is common common si prefixes prefixes and symbols and the symbols for multiples and sub multiples sub multiples that is for example if you would like to express a number 0.00001 meter this is a sub multiple that is how many zeros are there before 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 which can be expressed as 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters we can express this number as 1 10 to the power of minus 6 is called as a sub multiple we call it with a symbol of micro micro meter this is the benefit of having multiples and sub multiples prefixes of multiples and sub multiples that is a small number can be expressed as 10 to the power of negative numbers and a large number can be expressed as 10 powers of positive numbers suppose if you have a number like this 10 power 1 is called as deca and 10 power 2 is called as hecta 10 power 3 kilo you know kilogram kilogram is nothing but 10 power 3 grams that is 1000 grams and 10 power 6 is called as mega 10 power 9 is called as giga 10 power 12 is called as tera 10 power 15 is called as beta 10 power 18 is called as exa these are all multiples of large numbers large numbers can be expressed like this 
and in the case of small numbers 10 to the power of minus 1 is called as deci 10 to the power of minus 2 is called as centi centi 10 to the power of minus 3 is called as milli 10 to the power of minus 6 is called as micro and its symbols are decimeter small d centimeter small c milli small m micro mu not u it is mu it is mu 10 to the power of minus 9 is called as nano symbol is small n 10 power minus 12 is pico and its symbol is small p 10 to the power of minus 15 is fermi or femto its symbol is small f 10 to the power of minus 18 is called as auto its symbol is a the symbol for these one are deca da and hecta h kilo k mega capital m giga capital g tera capital t peta capital p and exa capital e capital e we will see some examples here example number 1 1 into 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds can be written as 1 10 to the power of minus 9 is what what is 10 to the power of minus 9 nano nano can be expressed with a symbol of small n so 10 to the power of minus 9 can be replaced with a small n second is second as usual so 1 into 10 to the power of minus 9 seconds can be written as 1 nano seconds similarly example number 2 5 into 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds can be written as 5 10 to the power of minus 12 prefix is pico pico is nothing but its symbol is small p so p yes 5 pico seconds is nothing but 5 into 10 to the power of minus 12 seconds similarly these are small numbers a big numbers can be expressed as 10 powers of positive numbers that is 5 into 10 to the power of 6 joules can be written as 5 10 to the power of 6 is nothing but it is a positive number 10 to the power of 6 is called as mega and its symbol is capital M so 10 to the power of 6 can be replaced with capital M joule is as usual so 5 mega joules example number 1 number 2 number 3 and uh, let us see one more example 5 into 10 to the power of 3 kg can be written as 5 into sorry 5 into 10 to the power of 3 grams can be written as 5 into 10 to the power of 3 is nothing but what 10 to the power of 3 is kilo so 10 to the power of 3 can be replaced with its symbol as k k stands for kilo g same as it is so 5 into 10 to the power of 3 5000 grams can be written as 5 kg simply so practice these things guys we will meet in the next class thank you bye bye